With the release of the new DJI Mini SE, it's time to go back and look at DJI's previous micro drone to understand how this new drone stands apart. While the DJI Mini SE comes with a few improvements from the DJI Mini 2, the most attractive incentive for prospective micro drone buyers is its reduced price tag. We'll go over everything you need to know about the DJI Mavic Mini 2, the new Mini SE, and how to decide which one is right for you. Before we start, would you please make sure to click the like and subscribe button and press the bell icon for regular updates? The biggest difference between the DJI Mini 2 and the DJI Mini SE is the price tag. While the DJI Mini 2 has a higher price tag of $699 for the Fly More combo, the Mini SE is priced much lower at $479. This is because the Mini SE was created to be a more affordable option for anyone interested in buying a micro drone as their introduction to the world of drones. While the DJI Mini 2 is the costlier option, it comes with a slightly more powerful camera and extends ranges, making it more than worth the extra money for those inclined to spend it. Both the DJI Mini 2 and the Mini SE come at an ultra-lightweight 249 grams, putting it under the 250-gram weight limit set by Transport Canada. This is good news for anyone looking for an easy DJI drone to get started with, as you won't have to register or get a license to fly it. It's also good news for anyone who's not looking forward to lugging around a heavy drone when backpacking into the mountains to film some unforgettable sights. The Mini 2 and the Mini SE come with the same foldable and ultralight design, allowing you to collapse the drone when carrying it to and from the shooting location. The two DJI drones also have the same dimensions, measuring 138 by 81 by 58 mm LXWXH, when folded and 159 by 203 by 56 mm LXWXH, when unfolded. The low weight and smaller dimensions make both of these DJI drones easy to fold and store in a small bag or backpack as you travel far and wide to capture the best sights. The best camera in the world won't capture good footage without the proper stabilization system. Luckily, both the DJI Mavic Mini 2 and the DJI Mini SE use the same 3-axis motorized gimbal to ensure consistent, smooth video in various shooting conditions. This means that even if you're shooting in a windy climate or high up in the mountains, you can rely on both of these drones to keep your footage from getting choppy and ruining the shot. The camera is another place where the Mini 2 and the Mini SE differ pretty significantly. The Mini SE is similar to the original Mavic Mini. It can capture high resolution video up to 2.7K resolution, up to 30 frames per second, 60 when the resolution is switched to 1080p, which is pretty astounding for a drone of that size. It can also shoot 12 megapixel photos in JPEG format. The Mini SE uses a fixed focus lens to focus on subjects close and far away, while the video is shot at 40 megabits per second bitrate. Its camera can even perform interval shooting, giving you the option to shoot from intervals between 2 seconds to 60 seconds. The Mini 2, however, packs a greater punch with a camera that can shoot 4K Ultra HD video at up to 30 frames per second. It also shoots 12 megapixel photos just like the Mini SE does, although it can shoot them in JPG and DNG RAW formats. This gives you the ability to capture professional looking photographs and easily transfer, easily store, and edit your data in several different formats. Both cameras have a 4x digital zoom when shooting in 1080p, which allows you to shoot close-up details from a safe distance. The digital zoom can also help you create stunning transitions between your shots by changing the distance and the composition. The DJI Mini SE has an upgraded power system from the Mavic Mini, allowing you to fly the drone for up to 30 minutes with a full charge when under ideal conditions. The DJI Mini 2 goes slightly further with a flight time of up to 31 minutes, which isn't considerably longer but can still be enough to help you capture the last of the footage you need without having to stop and charge. Both DJI drones are excellent options for flying longer and farther than ever before as you plan, compose, and shoot the perfect shot. Flight range is another area where the DJI Mavic Mini 2 and the DJI Mini SE differ significantly. While the Mini SE supports up to 4 km HD video transmission, the Mini 2 supports up to 10 km HD video transmission. This is long enough to match the larger consumer DJI drones, giving you the ability to fly the drone and capture all of the footage you need without physically changing your location. The easily stored transmit a great distance because of OcuSync 2.0, DJI's revolutionary video transmission system. One thing that the two drones share in common is their use of the 2.4-5.8 GHz dual-frequency system. The DJI Mavic Mini 2 and DJI Mini SE share several smart features that enhance the safety of your flight and help beginner pilots adjust to operating a drone for the first time. 
Smart Return to Home is a useful safety feature that both DJI drones share that allows you to recall the drone back to the starting point at any time. All you have to do is tap the RTH button on the remote or the DJI Fly app and watch as the drone begins its flight home. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, you must press the like and subscribe button. And let us know your valuable feedback by commenting below the video. Yoxie. Yoxie.